friends. Uh, welcome to this uh, second part of this Arkham Knight 100% tutorial. So um, basically, uh, if you recall from the last part, uh, we just got into Stag's airship. Um, so kind of to continue on, uh, basically, um, so there, there are some skips in Stag's airship that we would do in any percent, but we don't actually do them here. Um, we have to collect a lot of trophies, so, so it's not really worth doing it. Um, it also uh, will softlock some trophies later if we were to do that. So we kind of just go through this the intended way. So we uh, pull this. And so there is a um, trophy here and a uh, insect crate here. So what I like to do is I like to first hack this. Um, I use keyboard to hack it. You really should use a controller. It's more optimal, but um, I don't have a, I find it very hard. While this door is opening, I like to then uh, break this insect crate and then grab the trophy. Uh, download these codes and zap these guys. Uh, when you run here, throw a batarang. Uh, this breaks uh, this breaks you out of an animation where you um, would normally like talk to Alfred in your ear. Uh, cancel this. Um, oops. Uh, you can cancel it and then tilt this. Uh, make sure when you tilt it that you tilt it so that the crate falls outward. Um, that's very important. Uh, it's going to be important in like multiple hours into the run, but it, it still is important. There's an argument for reloading from checkpoint here. Um, the reason why you would is because at some point we will do a cloud, the cloudless skip and you would want to have these coordinates, but in practice, um, you're going to be reloading outside of stag um, for various reasons most likely. Um, so I don't really reload here. Um, it, it's up to you. It, optimally, you would reload here, but it's very likely that uh, it won't save any time or it will lose time. So over here, um, uh, so what we have next is a bunch of trophies. So the way the order that I get these trophies in here at this point is so we tilt this here. Switch to your uh, hacking device, hack this. Um, this is one of the trophies. Uh, then go down, go down here and then uh, tilt the tilt everything this way, then lock this and then um, destroy this inset crate here. Then go down here. Um, into this vent, get this trophy, and then grapple to about like right here, and then tilt the tilt uh, tilt everything this way. So this does three things. One is it gets that thing out of the, it gets those crates out of the way, it gets that crate out of the way, and it moves the trophy down to here. Um, then we will uh, open this. Make sure you actually get this trophy. Um, and then you can glide. So, so if you um, if you are so that that the glide there is kind of weird. Um, basically, if you uh, if you crouch, you're able to glide. Uh, but if you just drop, then you won't be able to glide. So optimally, you would want to glide. Um, but it's but you can only do it if you're crouching. Well, I guess there I didn't crouch. But a lot of the time, you'll just like fall too much to be able to glide. Um, so definitely get like a feel for that, um, but glide over here and uh, get that trophy. Whoops. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Um, so then we'll go into here. Whoops. Uh, switch. Use your. This is your. Use your. Uh, your remote batarang. Uh, this part uh, just. We just beat this guy down. Uh, it's the fastest thing to do.
So after we hack this, um, so one one thing is that um, right now, uh, after we go through, so after we go through uh, these crates here, um, we get an auto save, which gives us something called the one hit KO. So um, the one hit KO will make fights extremely fast, uh, and it will persist up until the uh, Christina Bell Predator, which is a long ways away. So we really want to. It's really nice that we have it um, on easy. On hard, it's a two hit KO. Um, you'll see kind of what it looks like when we do this fight. Uh, before we do this fight, we're gonna uh, bust this insect crate, um, and then so here I, I actually do like to throw a smoke. I don't think you need to on easy, but. Because Seer Takedown isn't that great, but I do it anyway. This is a very standard multi gun takedown fight, but you can hear, see that. You can see that all my hits are taking out everybody in one hit, which is uh, kind of cool. And then this last guy uh, hit him with the baseball bat. Um, while we're waiting for uh, to be able to interact with Stag, um, go up here and bust this insect crate. And then go down to Stag. I like to also switch to my explosive gel here, but um, it's up to you. Um, so then this part, uh, during this hallucination, same thing as glitchless, basically just spin your camera around. This will turn the soldiers into Joker the fastest. And once they turn into jokers, um, slide kick into one of them and then cape stun, uh, because if you punch them, there's like a little bit of a slowdown for the third punch, uh, whereas with the cape stun, there isn't. So that's why I do the cape stun here. And you do need to like take out some of these jokers uh, in order to do this. So then um, here we just uh, do the standard interact. So now um, we need to, we're going to continue through Stag Alpha. So um, I use controller here because we can cancel this control panel as well. Um, there, one thing though is that's very important. Uh, so when we're going to cancel this control panel and then walk over to that thing. And walking over to here will trigger a dialogue with Alfred. And one thing that's very important is don't throw a batarang when you're uh, when you're starting the th the dialogue with Alfred because you'll have to reload, um, and if you reload, you lose your one hit KO. Um, and then the other thing is once we trigger the dialogue with Alfred, we do that basically while this floor is opening, and then we're going to grapple up to here. So um, that's kind of the that's kind of the the movement. So we'll do that, cancel this, uh, actually go through this dialogue with Alfred. And then grapple up here. Um, then what we're going to do is tilt the airships. So basically we're going to tilt the airship that way first, and then we're going to tilt it this way. Um, and basically when we, t when we tilt it this way, we're going to uh, toggle this guy here. And then when we tilt the airship that way, what we're going to do is we're going to toggle um, so basically tilting it that way, we'll move this crate here. So then we are going to toggle this. We're going to toggle this. Uh, we're then going to toggle this and we're going to toggle this. Uh, and that will lock those crates there. And then when we tilt it back the other way, um, we're going to have a nice path to the end. So what it looks like is um, unlock, uh, toggle that then toggle this, 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 and this. It's kind of hard to see, but um, now we have, now you can see we have a nice, we have a nice, we have a nice path all the way to the end there. Uh, this thing, um, I'm not actually completely clear on the best movement for this. So I've started to enjoy like, uh, diving into the into the uh, explosive wall there and then unlocking it then we can tilt it there is a way to keep the second crate from bouncing but i've forgot how to do that um uh it, there's like a a speed at which you can tilt this airship so that 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 you don't get that additional bounce of that crate but um i don't remember what it is so get this trophy Cool. The distance is brutal, but I have a 
other plan. So switch to your uh, hacking device. Um, but you should actually be already switched to it. So um, hack this. Um, so there's an insect crate up here, um, right behind us. Uh, try to destroy it now. It's you, you're not gonna really ever have a chance to destroy it again later. And you'll you'll see this text that says five insects crates destroyed. That means you didn't miss anything, uh, or just didn't miss any insect crates. So that's a uh, nice here. So it's just quick fire battering three times, and then grab the trophy. And then so for this predator here. Um, what I like to do is, so we start out doing the same thing as in glitch list, but then it does diverge so that we can start collecting uh, collectibles. So first we go here, uh, drone hack this guy, zap uh, these two guys, uh, do the fear takedown here. Then there's this guy here who should be running, so, uh, so just uh, take him out. And then uh, go in here, scan this uh, monkey riddle. And then make sure like these guys see you, because uh, this is easy. You're gonna take no damage and just make use of your one hit KO. Uh, the and on easy, you don't really have to worry too much about taking damage. Um, then like while we're down here, so we'll do the remaining collectibles in this room. So first is this insect crate. Uh, this monkey riddle so one one thing is that we do have to clear the room before we can actually hack these monkey riddles so this is why you'll see me generally clear the room first before doing these uh because you can't really do them otherwise um so this one is bamboo um you kind of get used to the code words once you do runs of this um this one so what you can do basically the idea is you need to get them him from this pad to this pad in like five seconds or something so what you do is you um get him here toggle this then run over here so he'll get on the pad then he'll run over then um toggle it again and toggle it again and then just in the nick of time he gets it so i guess it's seven seconds um then there's uh there's this trophy right here or this insect crate right here so um you can get it from pretty far away uh and then we'll just oops uh you want to grapple up to here and get this insect crate then go down through this ceiling entrance and then do this uh white monkey riddle this is a or do it do this monkey riddle this riddle is much easier than the other one uh the other one can be kind of uh Sometimes, like, it can not work sometimes for no reason, but this one will be pretty consistent. So what you do here is um, you want to get uh, get this guy to this pad, and then you want to lock the door so that he stays on the pad. Um, and then if you if you don't lock the door again, this thing will close, so um, we don't want that, so we will uh, lock it and then get that. Grapple up to here, and then uh, interact with this. Um, and then this, the rest of this is basically similar to glitchless. Hmm. The weapon system controls are locked behind a scanner key to Stag's fingerprints. So um, you'll get used to the Stag hand positions here. The, um, the first one is uh, right here. The footage to see if Stag, Stag will have left a handprint on the floor there. I should check for other places. He Stag was here. The floor after he was thrown down the stairs, I should search for more prints. Third one's here. Touch that railing when he steadied himself. I should find more prints to reconfigure. Uh, you don't need to increase your mouse DPI for this. Usually, um, the, the, the actual limiting step is going out and then zooming in on the next video. Um, while you're doing that, you'd like move your mouse. On controller, this is just slower um, than doing it on keyboard, so I highly recommend using a, a keyboard for this if you can. So first location to scan is right here. And here we also get the autosave, so then you can see the tracker updates to, so that you can see if you missed anything. Um, and if you missed anything, uh, you can get it after you scan these uh, handprints. Two spots left to scan. What do you think they're going to do? I've been able to reconstruct Stag's middle fingerprint. One site left.
Okay, and then um, we'll grapple up. See here. So, um, yeah, exiting. Basically, run over here, grapple up to here. I like to select my hacking device right now. Um, and then what you do is here, glide a tiny bit, but not too far. Um, because, um, Basically, if you if you don't like try to glide at all, then you'll end up over here and have to skip the Alfred dialogue while you're on this, which then means that you have to walk a little bit further. Um, whereas, if, and if you go too far, um, you'll like hug this wall, which which loses time as well. So um, that's why you do it. Try to glide a little bit and then uh, land directly on the floor, so you can walk forward to here. Uh, so hack this. This is lipids. Um, so here we're going to be introduced to our first uh, electrically electrically charged uh, enemy. Um, one thing you can do with these guys instead of backclawing them, you can uh, you can wreck gun them, and if they're on the ground after a wreck gun, you can um, multi ground them, which is uh, it's just it's just a nice way of doing it. Um, it's not that easy. Um, if you're having trouble with that, just just backclaw them. I like to throw a smoke here just to see if I can try to take out the medics as early as I can. Yeah, so you see, you can multi ground the you can multi ground the electrically charged guys. And it's very important to actually do every single fight in here. Otherwise, we uh, won't be able to open up that like door later. Um, well, for this Batmobile upgrade, choose CPU virus. Um, it's way better than the EMP, or it's way more useful than the EMP. Um, I highly recommend doing the CPU virus. The most aggressive option? Yeah, but make sure the thing. The reason why we don't do any stag skips here is because we need to be we need to do all of the fights in here so that we can open this door. Um, later in the run because there's some trophies in there. So if you're thinking of uh, doing any stag skips and then backtracking in here, um, it's not going to work uh, for specifically for that reason. Um. So here, uh, you can you can generally avoid this zoom in if you run outside fast enough, and then uh, you can do a dive bomb here, uh, go in here, and then you can do a fear takedown on the first three guys. Uh, target the ninjas in your fear takedown. Alright, and then so here, uh, so there's the inset crate here. Uh, you can, so one trick you'll always see me do is dive roll through uh, doors when, oops, uh, when you're blowing them up. Uh, it's just a way of getting a little bit of distance. Uh, you can cancel this. Um, it's, and then you can scan this. Riddle from right here. Oops. So yeah, you usually won't be able to break the glass in one thing. I've seen people do it, but it's never worked for me. Um, we'll get that trophy later. Um, when you're in this hallway, uh, we'll do this trophy here. There's a trophy and an insect crate here. So here, um, unlock this and tilt it to the left, and then uh, grapple up here. And then what we're going to do is um, unlock these two, tilt it to the right, then lock this, and then tilt it to the left again. And um, sometimes it takes a while to be able to actually go through this. Um, sometimes it doesn't. but it's probably a little bit better to wait because sometimes you can get actually caught in this ceiling here and it's like really confusing. So while this is opening, you can uh, you can uh, back claw this uh, insect crate. Then when we get over here, we will uh, dive roll to the left to just trigger this little cutscene a little earlier. We will not get, um, there's like a trophy uh, right here. We will not get this until much later. 
but you could get it now. Oh, um, this is this is actually important. So there's this Alfred thing that uh, triggers if you get to when you get to this part. Um, what you should do is you should throw batarangs so that um, you don't trigger that. So that was a, a little bit of a mistake on my part. Um, you could get that trophy now, but it's faster to get it later. Okay, so now we have this predator. So as I mentioned, in these predators, you're not able to... There's like a thing you can do in this predator where you cancel the door. Um, you, you, where you like go into the predator, then go out and then cancel the door. You can see that in my any percent tutorial, but... It's not really worth doing it on easy because you have the one hit KL. And also you're not able to you're not able to hack the monkey cages um, until you've cleared the predator. So it's better to just do this predator and make use of your one hit KO. Um and so the way I the way I do this predator is I um the way I do this predator is I like to uh so so this predator basically I go in like a counterclockwise or sorry I go in like in this so basically I was I'll start um so we're right we're right here right now um, where my mouse cursor is and then we're gonna go over here and then basically we're gonna try to go uh counterclockwise around it um it doesn't always work like that uh but that's that's basically how it's routed in the route tracker so what we first do is we grapple over here we glide over here um that call this thing uh this insect crate i like to silent takedown cancel this guy just because um then it, it it hasn't worked recently but like you can it's a little more easier to scan that when you're not like when people aren't alerted so then make use of your one hit ko to take out people and the, the the key strat to this predator it's the same as uh in glitchless and any percent you want to try to lure the mini gunner to that this thing here um while you're kind of waiting for people to come to you i try to get this crate um on keyboard quick fire to to take that to destroy that oh yeah so then lure the mini gunner to over here um and blow them up and then uh try to take these guys out um Yeah, and try to keep these guys lured over um, to this side because um, the next trophies we want to do are on this side. Um, in in mo all likelihood, though, you will have a lot of cases where you end up doing the predator on this side, like I like I did. So I ended up finishing the predator closer to this side. In this case, uh, just do the start with this uh, monkey riddle. Um, but ideally, you would finish the predator on this side, in which case you would start with this monkey riddle. So I'm going to just do this monkey riddle uh, because that's the way it is in the tracker. And ideally, you would go, uh, you would do it like this, but oftentimes the RNG works out so that uh, you end up on the other side. So just uh, this is like just kind of a like a dynamic route adjustment that you just make if uh, if you have to. This one, you need to have both of these monkeys on their respective pressure pads. Um, make sure you then lock it and then run over quickly. If you don't run over quickly, uh, this monkey will go over into that cage and then it'll take a while for him to go back. So if you run over quickly, um, this thing will stay open um, the entire time. Whereas if you don't go quickly, this thing will close and then reopen. So it's just a little faster to do that. Um, here, there are four. This, is, this one's pretty straightforward. There are four things to wreck on or three things one oh whoops this one oops okay so it's uh one two and then that three that one that one worked weirdly i don't know why um but yeah just make sure that those three generators are turned on um insect crate here and then this is the last uh, monkey riddle in the in the run. So this one again, it's two monkeys, and then again, just uh, block them and run quickly over so that uh, the thing stays open. Um, 
Yeah, so now we'll go to Scarecrow. Um, we are not, we don't get storage in this category like we would in any percent. Um, you have to use your rec gun too much uh, in order to. Well, there, there aren't any zips that are useful. Here, uh, choose the scarecrow on the right. Um, it's faster. You're able to you're able to fight the the militia people much sooner. Yeah, and this is just a very long cutscene, so uh, not much, too much to say about it. Just feels like you are. My toxin is filling your lungs, drowning you in your greatest fears. What can you see? A city engulfed in fear, betrayed by those you trust the most. Your darkest secrets revealed. As I tear your mind apart, Gotham will watch. I will cut that mask from your face, and the whole world will see the fear in your eyes. Then they too will understand. There is no savior, no more hope. No. More yeah, for whatever reason, the camera tilts up so you don't see Batman's green eye. I, it's it kind of irritates me. I don't know why that happens. Um, it, it's it's weird. Look at me. Yeah, here this fight is kind of annoying. Um, if you have to counter, you should. It's faster than. But yeah, just uh, punch people a lot. Uh, the... Um, here, walk like a little bit, walk up to the, uh, up to this part of the semicircle and you'll be able to interact with Scarecrow, otherwise you'll just like punch the air. nowhere to run okay so so next up there's a series of stuff we need to do on bleak one of those is an apc and one very like annoying thing about routing the apc here is that if you're on bleak half of the time the apc will be on bleak but the other half of the time it will be on miyagani and if it's on miyagani it's like a minute to a minute and a half slower um so um, one thing you can do though is if you're on Founders, uh, you can the and then you select the APC mission, then the APC mission will be on Bleak. So this is this is like a, a strat you can do if you really want to get um, your APC on Bleak. So first we will uh, do this insect crate, um, and then um, wait till Alfred's dialogue is like finished. And then you have to select this APC side mission like a few times. So if the objective says um, 600 meters over there, that's the uh, that's not the right objective. So then select it again. Okay. So now now you see the APC is selected, and then this APC will be on bleak. So then go get into your Batmobile and uh, just and then you can destroy it. This is just a more consistent way of getting a bleak APC. There are no support vehicles for this APC, so this APC is very fast, usually. Um, you do a crazy amount of damage to it. I think this strat is worth it, if uh, because having an APC here is much better. Um, so this is 
technically out of order in the route, but this is just a strat to consistently get a uh, leak APC. Um, then we're going to go out and continue with the route, so there is a watchtower right here. This watchtower is very funny casually. Uh, wait. Okay, that was a little bit... that loading was a little weird. That's one of the reasons why 60 FPS might be the answer. I don't think that would have happened in 60 FPS. Grapple out here, and then uh, we're going to do a next to trophy. So this trophy, what you're intended to do is, um, so you batarang this, then once you get the trophy, you're supposed to use your RC batarang to crush all of these robots. But instead what you can do is just throw a smoke here and run out, which is a little bit scary because you will get shot a lot. Uh, you can your damage can go down, can't your, your health can go down a lot, but um, it's okay. And then uh, then you can go here and do this uh, oracle thing. Um, if you decide not to do that APC thing that um, I did earlier, then what you would do, what I like to do is um, grapple out of here, and then um, is grapple out of here and then do uh, the APC. Yeah, so normally what I would do is, um, it, it's, I tend to have better luck with, if, if I hadn't done the APC, I would have better luck if I grapple out towards Ace Chemicals, um, and then getting in the Batmobile while calling the APC, or while selecting the APC mission. So the movement would be to grapple out here, uh, get in the Batmobile, and then, uh, call the APC while you're in the air, um. So that's uh that's uh the that's the uh, standard way of um of uh doing it if I hadn't done the APC already. Uh since I have done the APC then what the movement is is uh uh grapple out here and then we'll head over to the uh Riddler bomb. Uh this Riddler bomb is really horrible. Uh, but you can do the thing where you, like, throw the RC battering too early. I actually don't recommend it, because if you find the thug too quickly, um, you will lose him, uh, and then you have to do this one again. Uh, so I actually have stopped throwing the RC battering early here, uh, but it's, um, it's up to you. You can, you can take that risk. Um, so the, the reason why, one, one of the big problems I always had with this is that the, 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 is that you have a really big window of places where this thug could be. There are a lot of potential thugs. It goes all the way down to here. Um, and then if the guy's too far away, I can't, like, I can't really wreck gun him. So I, I usually just, uh, just do this. Um, and getting in the, and getting in the Batmobile for this guy, like, the guy being this far away is too risky because actually you will fail the Riddler bomb if you if I were to try to get the Batmobile and electrocute him with it. Okay, and now we will head back to uh, GCPD. <laughs> Uh, here, I like to exit the Batmobile on this island and then line launch over here. 
Uh, so it's kind of the easiest, uh, fast way of doing it. Good to see you, Batman. So dive roll through this, uh, through this uh, metal detector. It's a little bit faster, and then zoom in and scan. Scan the cup. That's the easiest way of uh, getting this Aaron Cash riddle. Uh, then go to Poison Ivy. I need your help. From where I'm standing, you. Uh, so for this Cobra, this Cobra is the same as any percent, but a lot of the time in hundred percent, the Cobra is actually in a different spot, or it, it like goes into a different path than it does in any percent, which I don't quite understand why. Um, we'll see if that happens here. So again, like in any percent, you just uh, you just go over here at, right next to it and and scan it, and then go pretty far to the right to scan it. Uh, again, we go behind this sign here. Okay, so here it's going in the same spot as any percent, which is nice. So then we can RC our Batmobile, and then uh, I can use the radar. sometimes you'll have a missile barrage. You should use it if you do. Um, and then get Batman. Um, shoot this uh, shield while during this dialogue, and then we'll shoot another shield during the dialogue. It's a uh, it's good to bundle it with like unskippable dialogues uh, when you can, and then you'll be able to get to this objective in time. So here we get our drone virus, and after we get this upgrade, our missile barrage is uh, reach is recharged. So that's why, if you have a missile barrage, you should use it uh, on the Cobra because um, it recharges automatically. And then make sure you get uh, some upgrades. So I get the definitely get the Cobra lure. Then I also get the uh, reload speed if you don't already have it. If you have the booster pack, you should have already gotten reload speed. Um, and they got the energy absorption efficiency. Um, it's it's it makes it makes it it basically charges up your missile barrage faster. Um, it's very useful. Uh, you could get the wep emergency weapon energy now. We will get it later, but this one is actually useless. The only reason to get it is so that we can get the storage protection, which is useful. Um, but we don't have enough for storage protection right now, so we just will not get that upgrade yet. Uh, for this Cobra fight, there, there's a very good strat for it that's very consistent, which is to, it's the same as the glitchless one. So you go over here, uh, missile barrage this guy. Um, this this guy here will, uh, he has a mind of his own. He's not always, uh, but you basically you'll destroy this guy next however you can. Um, and this third guy, you... Uh, you shoot here to lure him with the Cobra lure, and then um, then uh, take him out. Um, on the way to the objective, we're going to uh, go down here. For whatever reason, this doesn't load in immediately on at least on 30 FPS, uh, but it'll load in eventually. I think on 60 FPS it would probably load in. Um, Shoot this shield while you're waiting, and then uh, do this tank fight. And this tank fight should be pretty straightforward now that we have basically all of our tank upgrades that are, that um, like almost all of the tank upgrades. So that's the main. The, having all the tank upgrades is the main reason why we uh, why we wait until to do this until now. And then when you have a uh, missile barrage, um, it's often worth it to like wait for some of the tanks to come to you so that you can get all the value out of it. Um, it's up to you, but yeah, now we can uh, do this. And because we did this bomb, we don't need to worry about going into the other objective too early. Uh, so that's, that's nice. Uh, that is a thing to worry about at any percent.
Uh, don't skip this dialogue too early, so um, it loses a lot of time if you do. And then, uh, again, remote control your car to get in the Batmobile, otherwise you get a little Joker dialogue that you have to listen to, which is annoying. Um, and then we're going to do our first uh, question mark scanning trophy. Uh, these are terrible in general. Um, you have to scan the question marks, you can't just go to the end. Uh, you have to actually like scan the final part uh, to actually do the question mark. Here you can, you don't need to do the extra scan uh, once you get that question mark at the edge. Um, I do sometimes just for safety reasons, but um, you don't have to. And then, yeah, basically when that green, this wall lights up as green, you're able to get this trophy. Um, so now what we're doing is we're basically heading to the orphanage to do a Riddler thing, but on the way there's this watch, there's this checkpoint here. Yeah, just drive through here and uh, run over everyone and shoot everyone. Make make some jokes in your stream about how Batman doesn't kill. Uh, it's it's very funny. So you can cancel this, but it doesn't doesn't do anything. Batman's not able to do anything while after canceling this, so um, it's easier to just not. Um, so now the orphanage, so there's a, uh, there's a shield on the orphanage, which is right here. And then, um, there's this trophy. This trophy, there, sometimes, like, it can break, uh, but there's a trick to it. So, uh, first it's, uh, this is standard, but, uh, so you, uh, you basically, what you do is here, you shoot, you, um, shoot this generator, but you, sh you do it with, like, the middle mouse wheel where it, like, where the electricity pushes the trophy um and then we will um go over here pull this with the batmobile and do the same thing over here um and now the key here is when you're using the batmobile do not open this until um until that electricity is gone uh, otherwise um this trophy doesn't actually go into this drawer and then if you open the drawer too early the thing will get stuck in a spot where you can't actually ever pull it out so that's the key. The key is to is to wait is to make sure that the electricity is gone before you you uh, try opening this drawer. So um, uh, this is a mistake you will make probably um, if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, but it is a uh, very that's how to avoid it. Uh, so in here. Um, you're supposed to do a riddle has like Riddler has like a scanning thing for you to do, but we it's actually faster to not do that. Um, so first, what we do is we skip the skip his dialogue here as you, as we always do. Um, but then we'll, if you try to exit, then Riddler if you try to exit twice, Riddler will solve this for you. Um, he go, has like some funny dialogue. So if you try to open this door and then skip the dialogue here. Then try to open it again and skip the dialogue again. It's actually faster than um, skipping the dialogues and then solving this riddle. Um, so uh, so do that. So I forgot. You have, you, you want to go over here. Um, in the tracker, we have the hints for the it says so. It says uh, B is one three three. Four, so it says C is one three five two four. That means one two three four five. Uh, so you do the very left one one. Three, five, and then you can quick fire your bolas uh, for this and for this, or your. Uh, but it, but the thing, the problem with quick firing bolas is that Catwoman like moves forward, or Catwoman can move forward when she does it, and then she can like go off of this. Um, so I don't recommend it. I usually just aim the bolas, um, but with Batman, it's three, one, four, five, two, and then for the five, you just. Quick fire like that. Um, I can barely describe you what a pleasure it is to see your brow furrow over the simplest of conundrums. Yeah, so you have your one hit KO, which, uh, for not creating a riddle that you can merely pound into submission, which is very, uh, very useful for this fight. So skip this dialogue as well. 
Um, and now we're going to head over to the next Riddler race. Um, so if you notice, we drove our Batmobile up to this door specifically so that we could just get into it immediately. Um, once we once we get out, that's just a little thing I like to do. Um, it, I think it's faster. Uh, this one, we'll do this. So to, to do this riddle, you uh, do this. It charges up your uh, your weapons generator. So then we shoot these question marks. So you shoot the 11 of them. Then use your missile barrage here. Use your missile barrage here. And then use your missile barrage on seven of these guys. or And then shoot the remaining ones. Um, and then you can get the trophy. Um, so this elevator, we will also cancel the dialogue. Uh, it's faster. So this Riddler race, there's not too much to it. Uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward. I do like to. I don't use first person here, I because um, you have all these obstacles that can crush the Batmobile, so it's just much easier to. It's much better to actually see whether the Batmobile is going to get crushed by it. One weird thing is that um, so is that you don't need to toggle here. In fact, you shouldn't toggle here, because if you toggle, then uh, this part would be... you'd have to re-toggle again. It's, it's like just one really weird thing about this race that I never get used to. Um, the obstacles change direction, are, are in different directions on the first lap, so um, you kind of drive a little bit differently, but th this is really something you just kind of get used to um, as you do more runs. I don't, there's not much to it. I do like to drift a lot in this, but um, you don't have to. Drifting does slow down the timer. But yeah, otherwise this Riddler race is... There isn't too much of a difference between the three laps. Uh, just like the direction that the obstacles uh, go, like here. They're going to the left before they were going to the right. Uh, make sure that you don't get crushed by them. It's uh, It can be... Especially towards the end, it can be a little hard to not get crushed, but like the timing for this race is so flexible that um, it doesn't really matter if you uh, take da if you get damaged or you get crushed. Um, and the obstacles move a little slower in the first two laps than they do on the third lap, so, or at least they, they, they move left and right, or right, um, in more steps, so you have to be a little more careful to make sure you don't get crushed, uh, by those, uh, the, these obstacles that you don't toggle yourself. Oops. Yeah, and if you're, if you're, like, ever, like, losing control, just going in... Just go into tank mode um, and regain control. Um, there's no no shame in that. It's uh, often the right play. It, you're able to turn like really quickly if you uh, get into tank mode. Um, and this last part can be tricky, so just pay attention to where the obstacles are. Um, one strat is to. Uh, go where the uh, obstacles have just um, been, and then you won't get hit. Um, switch to Catwoman. So the, the, the next two Riddler challenges, the key's in the same spot, which is uh, right here. So it's 0, 1. So again, this is 0, and then 1. So it's uh, it's a uh, row 0, column... Or, sorry, column 0, row 1. So right here. And here we go. Um, this next Riddler dialogue you don't need to cancel. You're actually able to switch to Batman during it, so don't don't cancel this one. 
Just switch to Batman. And then go down the... Well. Uh, but do cancel this elevator dialogue. And then we'll head to the next Riddler challenge. Uh, the next Riddler challenge is kind of interesting. Um, the first thing is that uh, for the next Riddler challenge, we do not want to uh, cancel the elevator going down. It loses two seconds to do that. So uh, that, that's a one real odd thing. Um, if you don't want to remember that, you can just cancel it. It's not, a, not too big of a deal. It is only like two seconds. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to uh, cancel this Riddler dialogue here. In fact, you shouldn't cancel it here. Um, one other thing is that you, uh, like, I, I know where everything is, like, I know this map pretty well. If you don't know where the map is, um, there's no harm in, like, following the arrows or, like, selecting the objectives for the side missions that, uh, you, you're trying to, you're trying to get to, um, uh, especially when you're starting out, so definitely do that. So here, um, just drive forward and, uh, eject out, and you'll be able to do this then for this one um what you can do is grapple here cancel it and then grapple back and then cancel and then you'll be able to do this now for this uh one pressure pad try to get to the top left of it uh like about here i think and then glide into these gears and also well, ideally what you want to do is um so okay, so I, I messed it up. It's it's sometimes done. If you, if I didn't get quite to the top left, so it didn't quite work. Um, I, I think it's worth it to kind of um, oops. It's worth it to kind of show what I'm trying to do is um, basically. Let's see if I can try it again. So it's basically you would get to about um, right here, and then. Um, Make sure you uh, glide into here, and then you want to kill yourself in these gears, because this will spawn you in the Batmobile backed up here, and then you can eject out. So that's, uh, this is, that was, that, so you'll see me do that in runs, that's, or try to do that in runs, and that's an intentional, uh, death. It's just because it's faster, and then get in the Batmobile, and then you, uh, the 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 key is in the same spot as the previous one, which is right here. Time to possibly maybe die. Well, this is not how I wanted to spend my night. Um. Definitely. So you do cancel this uh, Riddler dialogue. And then uh, exit, and then, yeah, we'll cancel the dialogue going up. The highest build Um, so next we have a checkpoint that we'll do. Um, so we have the one hit KO. This makes the checkpoint a bit faster, but there is like a little bit of a strat that I like to try to do, um, which is uh, so we'll we'll get out here and then we we start out with the fear takedown here, and then beat this guy down until you have a combo of ten. And then do a combo takedown. Um, if you if you try to do a combo takedown before you get to a combo of ten, then you won't actually take him down. Um, and then take these two guys out. Uh, the militia shield always is in a different pattern than the other guys, so I knew that was the militia or not the checkpoint controller guy. 
But uh, if you don't know where he is, just go into tech division to find out which one it is. Um, then we'll do this watchtower here. This watchtower is actually like pretty hard. Um, it's one of the harder fights in the game. Uh, if you didn't, if you haven't gotten spotted, then you can do a you can throw a smoke and do a fear takedown. Uh, if you when you do your fear takedown, really try to take out the ninjas if you can. Um, Use your use these sticks to to take these guys out if you if you can. Otherwise, but then one of the guys you will have to beat down. Yeah, so the fight didn't go exactly smoothly, but it, it's a it's a hard fight. There's stun sticks and there are brutes, so there's a lot of ways to lose your combo. But uh, with the one hit KO, it's not. It's not too bad. Um, over here, go look at look to the left and grapple off of this. Um, call your Batmobile. You unlock a nice challenge map that we won't do. And then we'll go back to the orphanage. Uh, again, I'd like to drive the car all the way to the entrance. Um, and we will do this uh, this this uh, puzzle. How are you doing? Um, so over here, you can throw your battering at this like question mark really early, but you won't really get to this pressure pad in time. So I just I, I'm just I just I'm just safe and I do it like this and then you control with Catwoman and then run with Batman make sure that th then uh, once this electric electric thing goes uh, go here and then um make sure that you have control over Batman uh, you can like fire your ret gun in a circle that's like a it's like a way to make sure that you're Batman. Uh, this is just the intended way of doing this puzzle. Um, basically, you just look at where the path is supposed to go, and um, Catwoman would be the be would be standing on the pads where the thing is on the lower side. Batman stands on the one where it's on the medium side, and if it's at the high side, both of them have to stand on it. Uh, make sure you switch to Catwoman. Um, when you're on this last pressure pad, um, and then run on over to here. Congratulations to the dementedly dressed duo. Your key awaits. Oh, but what's this? And so we have this pressure pad that we jump to jump on it as Catwoman. Um, uh, it's a little bit faster. Oops. And then... Um, so in general with these keys, it's faster to interact with them as Batman. Uh, so that's why I usually try to use Batman to, to, to do this. And now you get an auto save here. You can reload from checkpoint here, and then you will skip this dialogue with Catwoman. Uh, so there's an argument for doing that. I don't do that because I find the one hit KO way too valuable. Um, there, but there's a possibility that you might 
want to reload from checkpoint just to skip the the like 20 seconds of dialogue uh, so definitely skip that riddler dialogue and um then we'll do this bomb at the botanical gardens Uh, while you're, while Alfred is talking, go over here and shoot this shield. Yeah, these tank fights can be kind of annoying just because sometimes the tanks just don't spawn in places where you can easily see them. Uh, it's uh, it's just a, uh, it's just a uh, very common thing. But overall, this tank fight is like one of the easier ones. Uh, there aren't that many tanks, so. Um, so now we'll head to Wayne Tower to do another Riddler bomb. Uh, I do try to um, to do the RC the early RC Batarang if I can, uh, but I it's really easy to mess up. I I always accidentally throw it at a, uh, but yeah, I didn't hit so. Uh, this one, this Riddler bomb is a little less annoying. It's a little, they're much, they're a lot, they're a lot fewer candidates, so it's a, it should be a little bit better. The remote batarang will let me scan for Riddler's victim without getting close. Generally, it'll be on this side, but sometimes it's not. Um, he's very far, so just use your RC batarang to, uh, do this. Uh, some people like to like use their car to to run them over, but I've found that sometimes the car doesn't spawn into like a good in this good in a good spot. Um, I'm gonna shoot this shield here, and then we'll do the next uh, question mark scanning. We're gonna do a bunch of things like while we do the question mark scan. Um, So scan this, and then, uh, uh, and then cancel the firefighter. This is one where we cancel the firefighter and then go back into the Batmobile so that we can continue scanning this. Um, and shoot this. Oops. For safety reasons, I like to just do an extra scan of this. This this uh, ramp can be a little bit finicky sometimes. Uh, make sure you do this. Jump the ramp first, then scan, and make sure you get a question mark, and then go to this trophy. Um, otherwise, sometimes that that second scan doesn't work, and it, you have to then go jump the ramp again, and it's horrible. Uh, here we're gonna not do that APC. Um, there's also a shield right here, so uh, shoot it. Um, and then just do this uh, this riddle. And then do a scan up these stairs. Um, Oops, uh, before you get out of the Batmobile like I didn't do. And then uh, then you can boost off of 
here. Um, and then open this, uh, open this gate. Uh, if you are see the Batmobile, you're not able to scan until Batman gets in it, so make Batman get in it and then continue your scan. And these scans, like, they take practice sometimes, like, to, to, like, find out, like, where exactly you should do the scan from, uh, to make sure that the question mark actually appears. So there's a firefighter here. Uh, shoot these guys. Uh, that's the fastest way of taking them out. You don't. You only need to shoot two of these uh, sentry guns. Um, then what we'll do is we will uh, we will uh, cancel this firefighter. Uh, go up. Then grapple up here. Grapple up here. Get this trophy and then try to uh, get in the Batmobile. Uh, if you can, sometimes you can't. Yeah, so it didn't it didn't work that time, but that's okay. Sometimes it will work and it'll totally pay off. Then uh, you can go into this objective. Uh, I think you need to select it in this category, so we will. Yeah, so this tank fight is very annoying because of these pillars that block you from uh, using your missile barrage. It's a... Uh, but... Try to stay, like, in this area. It's a... Uh, then you're able to get better missile barrages, usually. Um, and you'll be able to spawn in the tanks into a little bit better positions. Um, so now when you get out of here, uh, there are two paths you can take to get out of here. Um, I think the better path... The, the easiest path is to go... I'll, I'll just do the easiest path. Um, but it does affect... I think it does affect where Man Bat spawns in next. Um, so you, I like to I like to go out... I like to go out here. And then um, go through Miyagani Tunnel. Then when you get to here, do a scan. And then, um, then go up here. Then you can scan, uh, you can scan this riddle here. And then, um, go here and, and do the deep scan of Ivy's plant. Uh, you'll do this fight, which you have multi-ground at one-hit KO, so it's not a big deal. I just did that combo takedown so that he wouldn't hit me, but um, you don't have to. So now, when you usually when you go um, this way, Manbat will spawn like on this side, but sometimes he doesn't. Um, kind of just need to pay attention. So otherwise, he'll spawn on this side, um, which is actually ideal for the route, um, because then what we'll do is we'll we'll uh, get Manbat. Um, if he spawns on this side, this is kind of what we want. Uh, if he spawns on the other side, it's a little bit slower. You might want to reroute some things, but um, it's it's kind of up to you how you deal with that. Um, and notice that we didn't ever trigger the man bat jump scare, which you never will in this category because um, you have to do the uh, you have to do that Grand Avenue Predator, which we skipped to do that. So um, then next we'll do this uh, Watchtower here. Oops. Um, you can cancel these, so that's what you should be doing. But um, I messed up the first one, so that's that that happened. Uh, 
And next, there's a little bit of RNG here because sometimes there can be tanks in your way. Uh, we're basically going over here to do this. Uh, this. Um, this basically, there are these trophies where you basically power something with your Batmobile, which tells you, which shows you where, um, which shows you where the trophy is, and then you, it like opens up the trophy for like a a, a little bit of time. That's pretty far away. So um, sometimes, like there will be tanks around here that you'll aggro. Um, if you aggro them, it is better generally to destroy them. Um, that's why you should try to have your missile barrage charged up. It's like a fast way of destroying them if you have to. So like here, I'll just do this. Sometimes you won't run into any. That's a little bit faster. Um, then eject from your Batmobile here, and then you'll be able to glide all the way over to this trophy here. Then, um, so we get this trophy. There's another trophy in this, uh, in here. This is the center skyway. And then jump off of here. Don't jump off on the, on this side. Jump off of this side and call your Batmobile. Uh, the reason why is the Batmobile will get stuck on that sign over here if you jump off from the other side. Um, and then we'll do is we'll select an APC. This APC has always been on bleak for me, regardless of where APC 3 was. Uh, so it's, uh, it's kind of nice to do this, uh, right now because the next thing we're going to do is a penguin truck, which has some RNG as well. So, um, we will uh, we will just uh, do this guy. <laughs> yep, and don't you don't destroy the support vehicles. So now, um, now I'll explain kind of the penguin trucks. Um, so so one thing you want to do is uh, is that so the thing is that penguin trucks have basically four or five spawn locations at least uh depending on the penguin truck some of them have six um there are some of them are on bleak and some of them are on miyagani and having a, any penguin truck that's on miyagani is terrible so you want to avoid that as much as possible usually if you get a penguin truck on miyagani uh you'll want to reload from checkpoint but the problem is right now for this penguin truck reloading from checkpoint does uh it does lose our one-hit KO, so I actually don't reload from checkpoint. Uh, if I get a bad one, uh, I just lose the time. Um, but there's probably an argument for reloading from checkpoint uh, if you get a bad penguin one truck. So what you do is you select it. Um, uh, yeah, so Bank in Kingston is terrible. Uh, this is a... Uh, yeah, Bank in Kingston is the worst one. Uh, it, it it's uh there's there's no worse penguin truck than this one, uh, but we'll uh we'll just do it anyways. Um, I, but because basically the uh the next penguin tr the basically the uh the penguin truck is on is in Miyagani, but the the actual weapons cache is on Bleak. So um, if you get this, this is like really really bad. This is like. Because then the uh, penguin truck path is also random, um, and it can like either go to Mi Bleak immediately, or it can go to like the opposite side of Miyagani. On average, it will go, uh, it'll just go around Miyagani. One little optimization you can do is you can make sure you have your uh, make sure you have your disruptor selected, but you can knock on the door before you tag the vehicle. Um, and so. And then, uh, and then you're good. Um, if I am, if I do get a Miyagani truck, what I do like to do sometimes is get some trophies while I'm here. Uh, so one trophy, I'm not gonna do it, but one trophy you can get is there's this, uh, there's this robot fight in Gotham Herald right here. You can get this one. Um, and then the other one that you can get, um, first let's, uh, let's, regain our signal. Losing our signal is a disaster. The other one you can get is you can get this trophy inside of this donut here, but um, I'm also not going to do that because that's not part of the route. 
Um, unfortunately, those are really the only riddles that are unlocked right now that, that we can get. Um, and then also with this truck, we do scan uh, three riddles, um, which, like, this is what you'll do regardless of where the truck is. Um, so now they're turning around, so that means they're heading towards Bleak. Uh, so go to the Bleak Bridge um, once that happens. Um, and so what we'll do is we will scan... Um, so one is Lady of Gotham. So I, I think... I'm not sure if you can scan it from here. Oh, you can. So that's... Uh, that's uh, the first one. The next thing we'll scan is this uh, bat symbol, or this bat signal on top of GCPD. And then the third one we will scan is the Arkham Asylum, uh, which is uh, basically you go fairly deep into uh, the... Fa Actually, I think you... Can you scan it from here? I forget. Um, you might be able to scan it from here. I'm losing sight oh, you can. I should stick to the rooftops. Follow All right, and then that is... Yeah, that's the... Uh, those are the riddles that you scan. Then um, the Penguin cache is going to be right here. Uh, you can... The visual cue is there's this uh, bomb here, which we will do very soon. Um, and there's this balcony here. Um, have your hacking device selected. We're going to be using that uh, momentarily. Uh, you can go down when um, the car turns into the here. So, yeah, now we can uh, continue on. So we'll uh, unlock this. RC or Batmobile, it'll usually be in a uh, in a very sane spot that's pretty close by. I drove my Batmobile off into the water kind of deliberately just so it uh, it would guarantee to spawn in like a reasonable spot. Uh, for this switch, you should cancel the switch. Um, it's just a regular door cancel. Then we will uh, go into our Batmobile and do... And before we do the Penguin Cache, we'll do this bomb here. Um, one key thing is after... Make sure you have at least two we uh, weapons generators at the end of this, uh, at the end of this tank fight. Um, because the next the time we're going to use our Batmobile is for a Cobra battle. Um, and that Cobra battle is, uh, very, is much better if we have our missile barrage, or if we can drone hack, um, which we want our weapons generator for. So, just keep that in mind. Uh, we're not gonna do that Cobra fight for a while, so it's a bit of long-term th uh, thinking. But, uh, I highly recommend, uh, keeping that in mind. Oops. So then we blow up this bomb. I can use the power wind to trigger a controlled explosion. Um, so then we'll do this trophy here. Um, basically, we drag these question marks down, and then what we'll do is we'll shoot. Um, I like to shoot the the one on the bottom, then the one on the right, then the one on the left. You can, if you're fast enough, you can shoot the left and the middle, and then you don't have to wait for the middle to go up to the top there. So. Um, but shooting the left and then the middle is safer, and it's the same speed as shooting the middle and the left. Um, then we will go over to this. So there are a couple ways of doing this. Um, like one thing you can do is throw smoke. Oh, whoops. And now, so, whoops. Whoops. Uh, so when we go here and blow up this cache, um, the, the, there's a difference between this cache and the first one. So you can cancel this weapons cache, but it doesn't do anything because you're not able to actually uh, blow up the door and 
must be destroyed. You're not able to actually blow up the door, blow up the cache until the door is actually closed. So, like you can see, I've canceled the cache, but it doesn't it doesn't do anything. Yeah, so it's uh, and like like there's no reason to cancel the cancel the penguin cache door. It doesn't save any time. So next, uh, we'll do a firefighter. Before we do the firefighter, I like to get um, so uh, weapons, the the grapple boost uh, and the fear takedown upgrades. Um, I'm used to it. Just keep tracking those refrigeration trucks. So you can do a 5x fear takedown here. Get rid of the shield guy. That's uh, the most useful thing. Um, so there, when you have brutes that are just standard thugs, uh, when you have these standard thugs, um, you can combo take down them in one hit. Uh, if you have the militia brutes, uh, you have to. It takes two combo takedowns. So you, I like to combo take down these guys, especially when they have the one hit KO. Um, I guess you could cancel this firefighter. I don't think there's anything, there's a reason to, though. I don't know how to thank you, Batman. Have you found any of the crew? Some, but there's more I think of my thanks, Batman. And then we'll go to the next firefighter. So this next firefighter is over here. It's a predator. Um, so to do this predator, um, it's kind of a consist usually a consistent strat. You cancel this guy, cancel take down this guy, cancel take down this guy, and then do a fear takedown on these three guys. Then sometimes you can uh, then take out this guy, I guess. Um, I think that you want to, uh, I think you want to cancel this firefighter. Oops. And then, uh, Oops, I think you want to boost out and get in the Batmobile when you're over here. I, I think I messed up the execution. But if you're if you're faster, you can actually get in the Batmobile. Oh, I got into it. Um, so for this riddle, um, you want to have this lower part be lined up with this green line. Um, and then it will work. Oh, I didn't know that for the longest time. Uh, but that's that's the trick for that uh, riddle. And you want it to be lined up with like the middle of that line. If it's too low, then the the thing then the the trophy bounces too high. So then here, um, so then here uh, we. Use the gel on this. Get a little bit farther away, and then, uh, then blow it up. Whoops. Yeah, and this can happen if you're. Uh, it's, it's the timing of that, of that slide kick is a little rough sometimes. Then uh, we want to go to Panessa next. So here, um, we're going to collect the Freeze Blast. The Freeze Blast is very important for uh, doing some skips and getting Riddler trophies, so uh, definitely get it. Um, and then one thing we can do is, uh, it's not in the tracker right now, but there's a riddle where you can scan Robin uh, to get a riddle. And basically, if you are, you can just scan him while you're running to the objective. And that's just an earlier time you can get it. So, um, basically, if you run and like scan right now, uh, you can you can solve the Robin riddle. Uh, if you don't get it, that's fine. We can just get him later, or you can just scan him now if you want. But um, we'll just get him late. But uh, I can show you the other time where you can get him without losing time. Um. So now um, we're going to do 
another uh, kind of Riddler race trophy. So this one, you go on this Panessa roof and pull this up one, two, and then you'll be able to clear this. Um, now, one key thing is um, make sure you're aware of what APCs you've done. So we've done um, we've done uh, basically all three bleak APCs. So if you've done all three bleak APCs, you can drive halfway to the trophy, which is faster. Um, but if you haven't done all three bleak APCs, then what you want to do is glide all the way there. Because sometimes an APC will be driving here while you're, if you're in your Batmobile and you're driving, and you won't be able to eject, which is disastrous uh, for this trophy. So, so with the current, with the way that we kind of manipulated the APCs, we did manage to get to do all three bleak APCs right now. But, um, it is possible that maybe you did a Miyagani one instead of a Bleak one. And in that case, you will want to glide the entire way. So um, uh, basically, uh, so I'll, I'll just show you. Um, basically, what you would normally do is you would normally like eject while you're driving down. Otherwise, um, you don't have to eject. You can just drive uh, over to here. And then eject over here, and this is this is actually faster. Uh, uh, but otherwise, um, eject kind drive forward and eject kind of immediately before you get before the Batmobile like goes off of the roof, or while it's going off of the roof. Uh, if you don't haven't done all of the bleak ABCs, this is just for safety reasons. Um, next we'll go do a uh, man bat in his lab so uh, that's over here um, you you can you can obviously uh, just you can obviously just select the objective if uh, if you if you don't know where it is um, which is right here Uh, there is a riddle in here that you can scan. Um, so uh, try to scan it well, right now. Um, it doesn't always work, but it worked there. And then it, when you interact with this computer, so this is a mini game. Uh, this mini game basically, um, it, it's. I remember casually, I didn't understand how this mini game worked. I thought you just kind of look at the percentage and just twist it. When the percentage starts going down, but that's actually there's the the better way of doing it is um, what you do is there's there when you look at the DNA strands on the left and right, DNA with a vampire bat. there are two uh there's basically a part that's colored and there's a part that's not colored, and what you want to do is align the colored part to the colored part of the bottom, so you can see that we're losing uh percentage because on the right side. The black part of the DNA strand is in the non-black part of the of the bottom thing, and on the right, um, you can get like a similar thing. So you can see kind of the pattern when it goes down. Uh, the colored basically, it's the colored parts are going towards the non-colored parts of the bottom. So basically, you want to twist these uh, or pay attention and twist them when a colored part is about to go to a non-colored part of the bottom. And sometimes, like, you can lose, like, a second to this because um, you start out just with, um, like, optimally, you would start out with the, uh, the like, darker parts going to the darker parts of the bottom. But um, sometimes you get bad RNG and you start out with something that automatically makes you lose uh, the percentage. Um, but that's just something you deal with. Okay, so here, um, 
So we call our Batmobile, and um, we're, there's a so there's a trophy. Uh, there's like this drawer over here. This is like the Ace Chemicals entrance, and there's a drawer here with the the trophy. So we'll just get that. Um, there's a shield up here. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll start scanning this. This this, this question mark scan is... Um, all the question mark scans are annoying, but this one is a little less annoying than some other ones. Uh, so we do this. Um, although at this part, make sure that the question marks go all the way to the top. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to... Otherwise, then, when you go up to the Ace Chemicals bridge, uh, you won't be able to continue the, uh, the question mark path. Okay, and then we'll head over to uh, Founders Island. We still won't get this lighthouse trophy yet. Um, we'll get it later. Uh, but basically, there's a, a series of checkpoints that we will, the checkpoints and trophies that we'll get. So there's a checkpoint here. Uh, so tar I like to just target the ninjas or the uh, electric guys, the stun stick guys. Uh, if I can with the fear takedown, that's just, it makes the fight a little easier. Then we can do this watchtower. Sometimes you can start out with the fear takedown. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it. But, uh, that's what I did. Um, now there's another checkpoint and a Riddler trophy. The order in which you can get these, it's kind of up to you. I'm not sure what the best order is. Um, I get the trophy first. So the, uh, the, the watchtower is, like, right here. Um, the trophy is right here. Um, this trophy, again, this is similar to, the like, another robot trophy we did. Basically... You go here, and then you uh, get the trophy. And then what you're supposed to do is use your RC Batarang to hit that question mark here. But you can just throw a smoke and run out. Um, the, these these guys don't shoot you nearly as much as the other as the other guys do, um, so it's very it's much safer. Then we can do this uh, checkpoint. Um, Um, one thing, one little trick you can do with uh, these brutes is freeze punch them. It's faster than any other way of taking them out, so uh, I recommend doing that. Uh, especially at some point, we'll get an upgrade later that makes it even faster. So there is, uh, there is a pig victim like right right there uh you can get him if you want but the the big problem the reason why i don't is because sometimes there are co there are cobras on this island like you can see one here and they can sometimes see you and shoot you uh when you when you're there so i i save pig for later um instead i do this watchtower uh this watchtower is uh annoying because there's a shield guy and what you want to do is uh, make sure he exists first, and then then uh, then you want to. Fr Ideally, you have your combo, and then you can freeze shield guys and then punch them, uh, and that's the fastest way of taking him out. So. Um, yeah. So unfortunately, so uh, it didn't quite work out that way there, but it's okay. Um, so then, now we'll, uh, go to the relay drone. Uh, there is, like, a, a, 
There is like a checkpoint we could do, but we're not going to because it's slower to do it now than it is to do it later, and you'll see why. Uh, but anyways, we'll do the relay drone, which is right here. Alright, so this is all standard, uh, any percent glitchless stuff, so you blind this guy. Um, but then before we do the uh, second radar, uh, what we will do is a watchtower. Um, the watchtower is like fairly close to the to like the the next um, objective, so that's why the hint says like near marker. Because um, it's like it's like right here. It's like the objective is right here, and the watchtower is right here. Um, what? Oh, that's weird. Um, so there's this trophy here. Um, you're supposed to use your voice synthesizer for it, but you don't have to. You can just go over here, backclaw this robot, and then grab the trophy. Um, saves a lot of time. <laughs> it's a very cool strat. And then um, we, we'll do the sa standard like any percent thing here, where we go here, go into tech division. I, dr I just drop a smoke for safety reasons. Um, uh, and then you uh, you can stand over the um, stand over this and uh, phase through the floor to destroy it. Just make sure you're standing in the right position. There's a bunch of tutorial videos on how exactly to where exactly to stand, but it's kind of just practice. This one I like to I have a usually have an easier time getting out of here uh, if I go if I hold if I aim a batarang. Uh, and then this predator, you do the same as in any percent. So the way you do that is you do this kind of difficult glide um, into here. Then cancel this, blow this up. Fear takedown. One hit KO every the rest of the people. Um, and obviously, if you're doing this on hard, then do the then do the hard strat. Um, it's it's much safer. Uh, on easy, though, um, this is this is the correct strat. So here we have this uh, cobra fight, and um, I like to do this in the same way that I do this in glitchless, uh, which is to drone hack the first one. Um, I got a nice gold when I did that, so I, I highly recommend uh, doing it. It also just makes it easier. So this is why I try to make sure to have my missile barrage charged up all the way in the in the Falcone shipping yard tank fight, uh, because then I can drive on over to here, and then um, and then drone hack this guy immediately. Uh, these guys are uh, a little bit more clustered together than I want. Oh, thought I could get away with that.
Yeah, so sometimes your uh, Cobra Lure just doesn't work. Uh, that's what's happening here right now, which is uh, kind of a shame, but um, we'll uh, deal with it. This is like kind of a worst case scenario where they're all like clustered together. Um, it's okay. This should be. This should work. You can use a missile barrage here because um, you'll. I think you get enough uh, missile barrage with the uh, energy, uh, with the energy upgrade that we got earlier, so that we have the four X missile barrage. Uh, this is only in 100%. In any percent, you wouldn't want to use your missile barrage there, but in 100%, you can. Um, here, this is similar to any percent, except you have your 5x sphere takedown. Um, there, I think I'm not sure actually what the right decision is if you want to use it. Sometimes uh, there is an argument to only use some of your fear takedown. I, I have never timed it. Um, regardless, the, the person you really want to take out is that medic. Um, and the easiest thing to do is to just uh, be right here and then just uh, take down five people, including this medic. Uh, the medic is very important to take down because um, the medics electrify people and electric people are more difficult to deal with uh, in this fight. Because again, you usually want to rec gun them, but because you have your one hit KO, you'll end up like wiping out most of the room, and you might end up not being able to have a high enough combo to multi ground uh, the uh, the electrified guy. I think that's it. So. Yeah, so it's much better in that fight to have just one medic rather than two. Like, I got lucky there because the medic didn't electrify anybody, but if you have two medics, there's just a higher likelihood of them electrifying somebody. Yeah, so we have our missile barrage specifically for this uh, missile launcher. And so now we're on Founders. We're going to do a bit of a collectathon here. Um, we'll do. Well, we're going to be doing a lot of side mission stuff before uh, doing the main story. Um, I like to uh, grapple here and then cancel and then call the Batmobile. The Batmobile should fall off, and you should get into it. Then go here. I like to get this trophy here. Then, uh, then go, go. Here, uh, finesse your way down to here. There's a uh, trophy right here. Oops, uh, you could be on this side because you want to shoot these question marks. Oops, that was weird. So there is a strat where you can do this checkpoint without the Batmobile. I don't think it's worth it. I think it's better to just uh, use your Batmobile at the start. It's also much easier and much safer. I don't, yeah, I don't think the other strat is really... We haven't really routed in that other strat very well, I guess, to make it faster. Um, so locate the commander in detective vision. Uh, that's the easiest way if you don't know where he is. And again, canceling this is possible. Um, it might be worth it, but I, I, it's, it, it's usually not. So then go over here. In the checkpoint, there's a trophy here. And then there's a riddle here. There's a very cool strat you can do to get it, which is to uh, cancel this door and scan the riddle while while the door is being canceled. Uh, that didn't work, so I messed that up. Oh, come on. What? I think I'm doing it too late. There we go. Okay. Sorry, that took a while, but it, it is uh, very, very cool to do it like that. Otherwise, you just go in the door and, and scan it um, if you don't want to do that. 
Uh, but basically, the, I guess the thing about that riddle is you need to be standing a little bit far back, so you need to cancel, or you need to scan it earlier rather than later. Um, uh, next we do this firefighter. Um, usually you don't want to boost off of that, usually you want to actually just grapple directly onto this part, but I grappled onto this part. So I boosted, which is not worth it. It's better to just do that. This fight is also kind of hard. There's just a lot of people who you want to like freeze grenade um, and sometimes the freeze grenade just doesn't target the right people. So that's that's the main reason why it's hard. Um, oh right, I think you do want to I think you do want to cancel this firefighter. And I think you might just have enough time to get in your Batmobile, but I've never actually tested that. Um, it's worth a try if you if you uh, if um, you want to. I need you to stay calm and concentrate. Yeah, that one you do want to boost a little bit, um, and then you can get in your Batmobile. So I think you do want to cancel that fire and get it, but I forgot. Um, so there's a riddle up here. The hint says up above, so it's not a very good hint, uh, but this is where it is, <laughs> so, um, yeah. And then we'll scan this. This is one of the more annoying, uh, question mark scans, particularly this part. So what you want to do here is you have to scan this part, uh, twice, or at least twice, um, Actually, I have to scan it more. Make sure that a question mark is right here. Uh, if the question mark isn't there, then the, the, the next part of the scan doesn't work. Um, so you go over here. Then scan this. Oops. And then have this. Okay, so now we will. There was a checkpoint I mentioned earlier, uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. But we, if we, we can do it very quickly if we use our Batmobile. So we can drive our Batmobile up to here, and then, uh, then just carefully drop it into here, and then just uh, not totally just kill everybody. Um, because Batman doesn't kill, but um, yeah, this is the fastest way to do this checkpoint. <laughs> um, it's uh, kind of funny. Um, so this uh, this is a very annoying Riddler trophy. Uh, oops, actually, that's not what you want to do. So it's you do this, and then then you uh. In this, oh. and yeah, so yeah, I mean, this one, this one, you kind of just have to practice. Like, there, there's a very standard idea. Usually, it works. Sometimes, it doesn't work uh, very well. Sometimes, it takes a little longer. Uh, but that's what that's what the riddle would look like optimally, I think, with at least with that current strat. Um, and then we'll go to this Riddler race. Or not Riddler race, it's a Riddler puzzle. Um, but yeah, cancel this the elevator dialogue. So here you're on Founders, so the, the riddle that you should get is this one in the middle. Um, this is the Batmobile riddle. We not This is like the last riddle we ever do. Um, otherwise, you can also select um, this the Pig riddle, which we also won't do until much later. Uh, they cancel the dialogue.
Um, so this this Riddler thing is um, it's interesting. It's uh, th there's a couple of strats worth noting. So one one obviously so you can so can't definitely cancel this Riddler dialogue, but you aren't able to like proceed until the water lowers. Um, but yeah, you have plenty of time. This so. Oh uh, yeah, if you've done this casually, you know how this works. So you uh, go here, then it'll eventually lock in place. Uh, try not to die here. You you will lose your one hit KO. And there's a strat here actually where you um, RC the Batmobile and then go to the next part without having Batman go in the Batmobile. It's it's kind of up to you if you want to do that. Um, And one thing is that um, if you are going this in a direction, notice how it takes a bit of time for it to like slow down. But if you go in the opposite direction, you can stop it much faster. So uh, make use of that. Uh, and then yeah, so now we control is with Batman, and then you can you can do a line launch. Um, uh, I'm doing the tightrope because I just want to be a little safer. So I'm not used to this strat, but you can also just not do a tightrope. Um, and now you get these robots, just ignore these robots and spam grapple, and then you'll get in your Batmobile. Uh, you don't you do not need to fight those robots. You have to just remember to remember to spin this the other way. Um, you have to. Uh, and then when this when this gets close, uh, just um, do the thing I mentioned earlier where you then go in the opposite direction to make this stop before this uh, kills you. Um, because this will kill you. It's uh, a thing that I've done many times. And then you go to number three, and this one you just uh, you just lower. Um, and then this one, when you step on this pressure pad, uh, you spawn two sentry guns, so RC or Batmobile to take them out. And then um, this one, it's 2-1, uh, so again, this is 0-1-2. Uh, so this is column two and row one. So that's this guy, right, 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 uh, right there. So um, one thing is that if you are like, like if you're too close to this, to like one of these things and you start running, you'll like pick the wrong key. So sometimes like if I'm worried, I'll just crouch walk to the thing. Um, that's, uh, that's just a thing. You don't want to hold space to try to run. Um, if you're going to interact with one of these wrong keys, as otherwise you'll die. That's just a safety thing, uh, but yeah, just keep that in mind. So cancel this dialogue. Uh, so here you'll be looking up here. So turn left, and then you'll get in the. You can get. You can grapple into the Batmobile. So, this elevator dialogue you do cancel.
Okay, so eject from your Batmobile out here, and there's a trophy um, right here that we'll get. Then we'll do this uh, checkpoint. I just do a fear takedown and make sure to try to do your fear takedown that so that you end up kind of as close as possible to this uh, got to the militia commander. Okay, next is this watchtower. I think there's a way to uh, to to start this with a fear takedown, but it doesn't like always work. So, okay, then we'll do this uh, bomb that's next to uh, this two face bank. Um, we do not do the first two Two-Face Banks, by the way. Um, we'll kind of show you that uh, later on in this tutorial. Uh, but so what What I like to do is, so there's a uh, there's a trophy up here that where you, you have to shoot like this uh, breakable wall up here. Um, it's very hard to aim at. Uh, and then there's a shield right here. So what I like to do is I like to hack this and then kind of shoot this thing while uh, Alfred is talking. It's often really hard to aim at it, so I kind of so it takes me a while to like line up. And then I like to shoot this shield kind of during the tank fight. Yeah, so this tank fight's not really uh, nothing to nothing really to say about it. It's just sometimes this is like one of the our pieces of RNG is that sometimes like towards the end of this tank fight, we have these two straggling tanks that sometimes like just never show up in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, sometimes they do. This is just uh, this is just one of the pieces of RNG that we de you deal with when you run this category. Uh, it's, Unfortunate. I can use the power wind to trigger a controlled explosion. Okay, now we will eject. We can grab. We should usually be able to grapple up into here. Uh, you can't quick fire your back claw at this. You have to like aim and fire it. It's like really weird. Um, so just remember that, or forget it and then learn the hard way every single run, like I do. Um, there's a trophy right here, which we will get, and then we will next do Asriel. So Asriel is, um, right here. This is the second Asriel thing. Uh, so with this fight, this fight is not hard, but I, I still like to freeze the Brute first. Yeah, especially with one hit KO, it's uh, it's especially with one hit KO, it's very, it's pretty straightforward. I'll return when you're ready for the next challenge. No matter how difficult the test, I will prevail. Another competent discipline. Let's stand this riddle right after, and then we will do uh, this checkpoint. Um, this checkpoint. So I like to go here and then wind it. And then you could do a fear takedown. That's what I usually do, actually. But um, I 
then um, after this, uh, scan this riddle and then destroy the watchtower. Um, so next we have, uh, first we'll do a shield and then we'll do firefly. Uh, for this firefly, I like to do the, to like get the afterburner recharge upgrades. It's just, it's, the afterburner upgrades are worth getting. They, they, uh, they, uh, make, um, they just make, um, driving much easier and faster. Um, so I do get that. Um, and then, uh, shoot the shield. At this point, you could also get, um, the combat upgrades for, to get the combo boost. Um, I'll, I, I usually get that later. Uh, you don't really need it. Uh, you don't necessarily need it yet. Uh, but yeah, then we'll do this Firefly. Uh, this Firefly can be a little annoying. I think, like, I think it's a little bit better than the Leak one, but it's still not easy. Firefly can make some very tight turns. Um, that's the main, but, but having the Afterburner upgrade does make it a lot easier, so that's why I highly recommend getting that. And yeah, and Founders Island is not the easiest spot to drive in. Oops, and this is uh, that was unfortunate. Okay, and now we have finished our first side mission. So here, um, look, uh, I think it's, look this way. Grapple off here, and then call your Batmobile. And then we will do this uh, Riddler trophy. Uh, this Riddler trophy will take us back to Founders Island, um, but there isn't really another time where you uh, can you would ever like be behind here. So, um, there's a variety of movements you could do. This is a very flexible. Uh, this is a very flexible Riddler trophy. It's not not hard exactly to get. And then, um, because now what we're going to do is we want to go back to the clock tower, I usually route like an APC in during this kind of time, so we'll, uh... Has the so, and this APC has always been on Founders, so it's, uh, we're on Founders anyway. Half, some of the time it'll go to Bleak. Some of the time it'll go to Miyagani, which is actually, can be very bad. Uh, because Miyagani does have tanks that, uh that you will, you may have to fight, um, but hopefully that doesn't happen. But if you, yeah, if the APC does end on Miyagani and you do ha end up aggroing any tanks, you need to destroy them, I think. Otherwise you won't be able to, uh, sometimes you won't be able to get into the clock tower later. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you don't, you usually don't want to destroy these support vehicles, but if they're there, um, I don't know, I think using the missile, the immobilizer on them is not the worst idea, just because um, it just gets them out of the way. Anyway, so we did not get uh, totally trolled here with by this APC, so we can now go um, over to here. And so at uh, the clock tower, um, Manbat 
usually spawns in here. Uh, yeah, around the clock tower area. So we can just get him. Okay, um, make sure you switch to your remote hacking device. Um, we're gonna go into the clock tower and do, uh, and do, um, this. And then, so now we can open this uh, while we wait for the computer to load. Get fairly close to it. Otherwise, the scan doesn't work. Um, uh, getting close to it is kind of the most consistent way to scan that properly. Alfred, pull up the footage from the Batwing's onboard scanner. Certainly, sir. As you can see, the Batwing has completed an orbital sweep of Founders Island, but there's still no sign of the cloudburst. I will, of course, let you know when the situation changes, but I... Oh, one moment, sir. I'm receiving an emergency broadcast from the movie studios. Batman, I hope you can hear this. The movie studios are under attack. Robin is in trouble. Listen to me very carefully. You need to lock down that room. We can't let the infected get out. Of course. Tell me when... Henry! Quinn. So you do remember me. That's weird. Because you killed the only thing I ever loved. And now I find you've been keeping a whole new generation of jokers to yourself. I know. Awkward. Don't do it. They're not stable. Oh. So um, before we go to Panessa, we'll, we will do Ezreal 3. Um, just because we have the one hit KO now, it, it makes it a little easier. And maybe for this Ezreal 3, you would want to uh, have the combo boost. Um, but I usually don't get it. Like, if you don't... So, so like, you have a choice between combo, between combo boost, which is 8, or the focus mark 2. So... It is possible for you to have lost your one-hit KO. If you have lost your one-hit KO, I would prioritize the Focus Mark II over the combo boost, personally. Um, so that's why I, I don't necessarily have this routed in now, but like if you want, you can route it in now. It's uh, not a big deal. Uh, but I'm going to not, just because it's not that way on the tracker. Um, so the, uh, basically when you're in the, at the clock tower, glide towards, like, uh, this green thing. Uh, the Asriel 3 is, like, a little bit, is to the right of it, right here. So. Um, for this Asriel fight, the, the, the medic will electrify a guy immediately, so I just backclaw slam him. And then try to take out the medic kind of quickly, I guess. Uh, so he doesn't revive anybody. You're a competent warrior, but one final challenge awaits you. Contact me when you're ready. Be prepared for my victory when I return. So now we'll go to Panessa. Uh, Panessa. So so this this strat here is the same as in uh, the other categories. Basically, uh, what we'll do is we'll lure these guys to um, this generator here. Um, go over here, and then if you. You should you should be able if you wait long enough you can blow up all of those guys with a single uh, with that generator. Open. Voice plan failure. Access 
Uh, for this part, um, when you're synthesizing Harley's voice, you want to use the uh, controller. It's faster. I can adapt the modulator I picked up from the Arkham Knight's driver to synthesize her voice. Um, and the the visual cue for it is you want uh you want the left the left one you want it to have be about right here the right one to be about here but it's fairly flexible actually or the the left to be over there and the bottom to be over there um, yeah it's fairly flexible um, so we'll open this um this predator is very similar to glitchless uh, so we do the same start out with the same thing uh, lure the minigunner there and uh, disrupt it only difference is here we will cancel the silent takedown because we can do glitches um, and then the rest of it is like kind of similar so this guy will get electrocuted uh, then we can blow this guy up um, we have our one hit KO so we will uh, And this is on easy, so we don't really care about getting shot. Uh, the other difference is that there's a trophy we'll get here, um, which is down here. Uh, and I like to quick fire to get it, because um, so otherwise I will drop my smoke on keyboard. And then this part is exactly the same. Uh, if you're having trouble with this strat, one thing you can do is get the uh, is get this um, is get this uh, upgrade earlier, which is the drone hack mark two. Basically, this gives you thirty seconds instead of fifteen seconds, where you're able to blind the drone, which might make it easier. Uh, you don't need to get it. I don't. I don't get it yet. Um, and you can cancel this. And then I uh, get into the store here, and when I'm opening the store, I get my upgrades. So the upgrades I want to get are, um, so one is, the, the most important upgrade you need to get is Sabotage Mine. Uh, you're not able to actually unlock this upgrade until you do this Predator. That's the reason why we do this Predator and we don't do like any percent skips uh, for it. Um, so this is the by far the most important upgrade you should get. So um, definitely click that first. Um, I like to get the drone hack mark II as well. It's not too many upgrade points. Um, it's just overall very useful. And then um, the other upgrade I usually get is the uh, combo boost. Uh, and, and again, if you don't have if you don't have your one hit KO for any reason, then get the focus mark II because focus mark II gives you a one hit KO if you're um, if you have uh, if you have your combo charge up all the way. And yes, this will be a YouTube video. That's the thugs dealt with. Time to go after Harley. Psychotic killers. <laughs> You've never felt so at home, have you? Oh, come on. You think you're different because you never killed anyone? Newsflash! You killed me. I was there, remember? You destroyed my cure right in front of me. <laughs> Watch me choke on my last lap. And then, after killing me, you said you would have shared. <laughs> You couldn't admit I'd won, could you? Not even as a parting gift. But now I'm on the inside. Ooh, we both know the truth. Yet you've killed before. And tonight, I'll make you do it again. So 
So here, Ariel attack this guy. Uh, you'll take him out with your one hit KO. So you can start this out with a fear takedown. Try to target the shield guys if you can. I'm gonna just uh, uh okay. So it's a very annoying feature in this game that this uh, combo batarang thing exists. Um, it's like one of the worst upgrades in the game. Uh, so there's a jack-in-the-box right there. And right now you could scan the Robin Riddle. Um, this is a time to scan it if you haven't scanned it already. And in Glitchless, you would want to interrogate this guy as Robin, but in this category, we actually want to interrogate him as Batman because we can cancel this interrogation. Um, it's very funny when we cancel it. Uh, it, it, it like really messes up this cutscene. So next we'll uh, get some trophies, so we go the RC battering over to here. So um, there's a trophy down here, and then also there's this, uh, this basically puzzle that we have to do. So the way this puzzle works is um, basically whenever you throw the battering on the edge, it toggles that row. Um, and if you throw the batarang in the middle, it toggles everything. So what you want to do is, um, so so the, the way to do this quickly is to just any three, ed any four edges, uh, throw the batarang at them, and then you'll uh, solve the puzzle. Um, uh, it, it, it doesn't have to be, it says 8, 9, 10, 12. That means that's, that's 8, 9, 10, 12. Uh, like a clock, but uh, it can literally be any edge, any any four edges. Um, that's the that's how you solve that puzzle. Uh, so next, there's a um, there's a breakable on our left. You don't actually like you're not going to actually see if you got it. Uh, so just, uh, but you'll, you will get it, just throw a battering like that, and then you'll usually get it. Uh, if you have the tracker, you can see very easily if you didn't get it. Um, and then we will go to, um, stage B. After we get that robot trophy. This fight can be kind of weird. Uh, sometimes the fight just stops happening. It's uh, very annoying. Um, so now, uh, for this, uh, make sure you get your explosive gel and cancel this door once. Um, and this is to break the AI for the Christina Bell Predator, uh, which makes it a lot faster and a lot more consistent. Uh, it does have some side effects in the room, which we will see later, but um, but it's still the right play to cancel the door. So this is the mini the dual team takedown tutorial. Um, so this jack in the box, make sure you get it. Um, and then to do this predator, it's the same as any percent, so you just Silent take, don't cancel everybody. You could, I guess, make an argument for getting some trophies in here uh, during this Predator, but this Predator is so fast and the enemy positioning gets is so consistent with, uh, with the any percent route that I don't think it's worth it. Um,
It's faster to take down cancel these first two guys than to fear takedown, but um, doing a fear takedown is perfectly fine. That's all of them. Time to go get Miss Bell. So actually, I usually um, I usually get the Riddler trophy before this room uh, first, but in the I think in the tracker I it, it says to get this first, so I'm gonna just do that. So this this trophy is you just line launch. Then get up here, freeze these, and then get the trophy. You gonna replace me? Um, and then this trophy is the only reason why we need to get the Sabotage Mine upgrade. Uh, if we can find a way to get this trophy without the upgrade, uh, we'd be able to save a lot of time. So Glitch Hunters, uh, get hunting. So next, uh, next trophy is uh, this one. I, I always thought this one was very creative. Um, so we put the gel over here. Blow it up at the right time and then you can get the trophy. So this next part is a little interesting. So what I think the in intended way of getting this is you're supposed to stand on a pressure pad over there and then RC the battering this. But right now the RC battering doesn't work at all because we canceled the door uh, to getting, we canceled the door uh, going into this predator which breaks the RC battering. So what we'll do instead is we can also use a, an explosive gel um, on this. Make sure you blow up that uh, jack-in-the-box. Uh, then you can stand on the pressure pad and then blow this up. And so the movement I like to do here is battering bat claw. Um, and when this says, uh, this will say five, this should say five, uh, this should say five uh, jack-in-the-box is destroyed, I believe. Yeah. Um, there's also a jack in the box here. That's going to be the sixth one, um, and then uh, freeze that. So actually, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to once you get in here, freeze this immediately, and that freeze that immediately, and then destroy the jack in the box, and then freeze this part. Um, but, uh, that's just a little micro optimization. It's not that important. Here, you're not able to hack this until you get relatively close, like about here. Um, this is impeller. And then you can back all this trophy eventually. Um, so now, uh, now this is where you want to be at 30 FPS um, if you're not already. Um, if you've been playing at 60 FPS, this is where you actually would switch to 30 FPS. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do the grapple swing clip. So um, basically, a grapple swing clip. It, the inputs are you quick fire your uh, freeze grenade, grapple swing, hold aim, and then um, and then this lets you kind of clip through the ground. So it's uh, like this. That's what a grapple swing clip looks like. And then you can cancel your grapple uh, with left controller with B on controller. Uh, and then um, we can glide over to Albert King over there. Um, and then with Albert King, uh, there's a bunch of things you need to watch out for. You don't want to glide under the door. Otherwise, Albert, you can't uh, kill Albert King uh, quickly. Um, it, that all that all these kinds of backups are detailed in kind of the any percent tutorial. The unfortunate thing about having to do any sort of backup in hundred percent is you have to recollect every single one of these Christina Bell trophies um, if you have to do a backup. So uh, so get very comfortable with this skip. Or uh, just do it glitchless, um, but uh, yeah. So I, I would, yeah. So um, because it, there's a very high consequence if you uh, mess this up. So here, so the fastest way is to dive bomb in front of the door. Uh, but if you want to be much safer, just glide into the door. Um, 
because because again of the high consequence, then battering Albert King, and then uh, then go in and out of the store. So I usually switch to Robin just out of habit, because uh, sometimes otherwise Robin doesn't pick him up. So you, you switch to Robin and then let switch to Robin and then let uh, Batman and then let Batman then let the game switch you back to Batman. Um, so that's uh, one thing. So here um, you can do something called a double shot uh, with the with the ret gun. So so normally you you quick fire. Normally you quick fire the ret gun with uh with this. Um Oops. Uh so what you can do though is you can aim and fire the ret gun while also oops uh while also uh while also quick firing it. Ah, I'm not I'm not able to do it very well. Uh, I guess it doesn't work that well here. So that's what it looks like. It's basically, um, and you can use the quick, the, you can use that to, to do this a little fat, these kinds of generators a little faster. It sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I like to blind this while this trophy is opening. Then um, you can do this trophy by uh, canceling this and then canceling this. Um, and the one thing is that, like, after you cancel these things, they can still shoot you. So run around, like, a little bit far and then don't go into the line of sight until you get to about here. Um, otherwise, you can get shot and killed by these sentries, even on easy, easy. Sentries do obliterate you. This is my favorite Wordler dialogue, by the way. Anyway, so we go here, we scan Inferno. Uh, this, you can't batarang it from here, this thing from here for whatever reason. And so um, this, this next riddle, you're supposed to match the colors here, um, but obviously like you're gonna just memorize it and the, basically the, the pattern here is, so you stand on this, so it's a, uh, Shoot so it's so it says in the hint one, two, four, one, four, one. Um basically so throw so this is this is one, the blue one is two, the red one is three, the left one the right one is four. So it's one, two, four, one, four, one. Uh destroy that jack in the box while you're waiting for this to open and then grab that trophy. Okay, so now we uh, go out here, and it's kind of funny. Like this, this gate is going to be closed, so um, you really want to not forget any collectibles here. So the first is this Jack in the Box because you won't be able to come back in here because this gate will always be closed uh, for the rest of the run um, unless you uh, open it like in this first part of Panessa, which you, we never want to do. So. Um, when you scan this, scan, you have to stand about right here to scan it. If you're too close, it doesn't work. It's like very weird. It's one of the annoying things about riddles in this game. Open this. Um, there are two... I like wait for this door to close before line launching. Uh, if you don't wait for the door to close, then when the door closes, uh, you might be line launching and then it like kills your line launch and you fall into the electricity and die. So that's not fun. Uh, so I, I just wait. Um, I think that if you open the door like late enough, then you'd be able to um, do it without waiting. But anyways, uh, line launch here to uh, get this trophy a little, to get to gear a little quicker and then uh, open this. And then we'll go to Johnny Charisma. Uh, again, we do the same thing as an any percent with the grapple swing clip. Um, but uh, Johnny Charisma, this Brackle Swim Click's a little more interesting uh, in this category because um, 
Uh, we'll see. You're able to actually get collectibles while out of bounds. Um, so here, we'll show you this. So Johnny Christmas at this objective. Glide into the door. Um, but now there are a few collectibles we can get from out of bounds. So you can see here where we can aim at this. That's a jack in the box. We can aim at this. So there's a... a, a trophy uh right like around this around like around like this area right here to the right of the door um that that uh that we shouldn't be able to get right now but when you're out of bounds you're actually able to like uh uh battering this question mark to get that trophy because the what you're intended to do is you're supposed to like kind of battering this trophy while you're not looking at it directly otherwise the trophy stops lighting up but if you're out of bounds you can just battering the trophy uh right now uh it's pretty cool so what we do is we uh there's this so there and then there's this uh jack in the box here which we're not it, it's it's normally kind of slow to get you have to like um get you have to like um go through some vent through a vent to to get to it so what we do is we quick fire battering that get the trophy we can also quick fire battering that jack in the box there and there's also a jack in the box right in front of us that we can quick fire battering um and yeah that's uh that's uh that is the um that is those are some of the trophies we can just get or collectibles that we can just get from out of bounds here um and it saves a bunch of time it, it sorry it saves a bunch of time down the line uh, if we do that so now this is similar to any percent. We throw our RC battering here and rescue uh, Jason. Jason, I, I thought you were dead. Batman, is that you? Batman's not coming to save you, Jason. It's been six months now, Jason. I think it's time to face that. Who's you? That's the spirit. You're a real chip off the old bat block. Not that it'll do you any good. Why won't you just kill me? What? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to kill you. Not yet, anyway. You're my sidekick now. Imagine it. You and me, out on the streets, starting fights, picking on the weak, a regular dynamic duo, just like Bats and that new kid of his. No, he wouldn't. You think? So, this isn't Batman, then? Oh, weird. The pointy ears are usually a dead giveaway. No. I didn't want to show you that photo. Really, I didn't. But... Well, it was the only way for you to get closure. Now, I know it hurts, but sometimes you gotta be cruel to be kind. Yeah, so go here, um, throw a battering uh, so that you avoid this part where Batman turns around. Um, yeah, and here the code is, uh, 0539, uh, just remember it, um, or add it to your splits. Henry, I need your help. Of course. Anything. I need you to send me the CCTV footage from the camera in stage C. You can use the computer in that room to do it. And yeah, I get, I, I do Johnny Charisma before I get any of the collectibles outside, because we have to go outside again anyways. On the right. Slide your finger along the dial and click. Interesting. Okay, I can see the camera. Now highlight the track for the last 10 minutes. And Done. So I see. Thanks, Henry. Uh, and then Johnny Charisma, it's the same as all the other categories. So you uh, try to 
diffuse the bombs within two light cycles. Uh, it's very flexible to do two light cycles. You can do it faster than that, but it's that's incredibly difficult. Um, it's not really worth it <laughs> at this point. Yeah, so here you can just just chill here, uh, and the peripheral vision doesn't matter, it's just make sure you're not in the spotlight. Down charisma. Hell of a time. You're part of me. Yeah, definitely go clockwise because that's in the same direction as the as this platform is going. So it's a uh, it's going to be faster. And he's a professional singer. Even Alfred sees better than this guy. Good work, Robin. Um, yeah, so then we'll get the remaining uh, collectibles in the Stage C area. So, um, the first one is behind this breakable wall. So there's a, um, there's a breakable here. I like to hold off on getting it for now. Uh, at least not, not like, yet. we'll get it in, like, a couple seconds. But, like, first we RC Batarang this. And then we do this RC Batarang here. And so one thing is that the uh, electricity doesn't always turn on immediately, so you kind of need to just wait until it does turn on. Um, I think the timing I did was happened to be pretty good, but um, just be aware, be aware of that. And then while you're waiting for this gate to open, then I destroy that uh, jack-in-the-box. So. so for this, um, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, the way this puzzle goes is you start you start from here, and then it's the order in which some guy like grows up basically. So you start um, so it's here. So this is the first one. Then the, then the next one is five, which is this one, which is this baby. Then the next one is seven, which is this toddler. Next one is this uh, this uh, teenager. This one's a graduate. So three two, and the next one is this adult four. This one is an old man, eight, and then six is uh, death. So that's uh, that's how that uh, riddle works. Uh, this guy, you should we freeze him? He should be dead, but he uh, we uh, skip that part. Uh, destroy that uh, jack in the box, and then we will go over here. There's one more jack in the box um, right here. There is another jack in the box in stage B. But we will get that uh, a little bit later. Um, we'll, I'll show you kind of how we get that. Um, so here we uh, do this Harley thing. Of me to allow that to happen. Batman took Mr. J away from me once already. He ain't gonna do it again. You hear that, Batman? I know you're out there. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this is all very standard. You shouldn't break cover. Harley could kill Robin. Harley could kill Robin. I shouldn't break cover. Harley could kill Robin. Um, again, so kind of like in in glitchless, uh, or in, in all the categories, if you freeze, if you freeze the uh, brute and Robin hits him, you can include him in your multi ground. But uh, it doesn't always work out that way. And then what we'll do is uh, throw our RC batarang right now and destroy this uh, this uh, Jack in the Box in Stage B. Um, make sure though, do not uh, cancel this. You can press space usually to cancel the uh, RC batarangs. And it usually hits a target, but it actually won't hit it if you cancel it for whatever reason. So actually, like, uh, actually, like, cancel it when uh, it bounce when you actually see it bounce off, and you'll know that you got it because it'll say 15 Harley Jack in the box is destroyed. So we've destroyed all of them. Um, so that's how you know that you've gotten it. If uh, if uh, you don't see that, that means you didn't get it, uh, unless you skipped a collectible or missed one. Um, but the very safe, the only real way I've been able to do it is to actually see it bounce off of the jack in the box. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Whoops. This is the moment of truth in the tracker to see if I forgot anything. Uh, because we got this autosave and I didn't forget anything, so... Yeah, and then the rest of this is just very, uh, similar to Glitchless. What if you fail? It'll be too dangerous, I won't be able to stop. Uh, and any percent, but basically you, um, don't have any thugs here because we didn't skip that fight. And, um, basically, so we're gonna get in the cell, we wanna spawn in Robin and Joker. Uh, you want to crouch when you exit the cell, and um, then I stand in a very specific spot so that I can spawn in Robin kind of quickly. So we'll we'll see all of that here. I'm sorry, Bruce, but it's the only way. I know, Tim. I'll stop Scarecrow. Master Bruce, I'm reading multiple militia forces converging at your location. It's the Arkham Knight. He's found you. I'll take care of it, Alfred. Are you sure? There are rather a lot of them. I said I'll handle it. You'll be fine. Of course I will. You train me. Yeah, so when the door over there starts to close, then we uh, I, try, I basically just uh, move the camera around to try to spawn in Jason, and then you'll spawn in Joker. So for Jason and then Joker, I stay looking at, oops, I stay uh, looking at Joker, Don't worry about and then that look at the cow sure once he starts speaking. Anyway. I don't think it matters, but I, I just like to do that. And then uh, definitely, uh, if you want to save some time, a little bit of time, crouch when crouch walk out of here. So just hold crouch. I like to start holding crouch when he puts on the cow. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but then do not like ever touch the crouch button again uh, during this, uh, because um, if you push crouch at the wrong time, uh, you won't be able to interact with the elevator. So um, that's the that's. That's the risk that you take. Have you got something to tell the nice man, Jason? My name is Jason Todd. Who do you hate? Batman. Excellent. Of course you do. Did you get that, Bats? Kid's not yours anymore. He's mine. Mine, mine, mine. To do with as I wish. Hey, 
I ever ask. What's the big secret? Who is the big bad bat? His name. Tell me. Of course, sir. It's never could stand a tattletale. That's why I like to work alone. No one to spoil the punchline. You should try it sometime. After all. You've seen what happens when you drag your friends into this crazy... Okay, so now what we do is I, I spin the camera counterclockwise, and then Robin will usually be here, so you counter him. What the hell are you doing? The right thing. Trust me. Oh, you can, like, break out of this animation, but it's... I, I'm, not a, I'm not good at it, so... Um, anyways, yeah, crouch walk away from him. And yeah, that's that. So um, I'm going to probably end the tutorial part here. Uh, we'll continue it in the in a future in a future video. So, um, but yeah, uh, thanks everyone for watching this. Um, I hope you guys uh, learned something. I hope this is helpful for um, doing 100% runs. Uh, we'll continue with the rest of the tutorial at a later point.